In this video, I will go over some of the basic network setup procedures for your Herco machine. The machine will need to be connected to your internet via an ethernet cable. Make sure there is also a patch cable running to the card rack. You can use a wireless adapter, but we recommend using Cat5 ethernet cable run to a switch or router. The machines are automatically set up to use DHCP, which automatically assigns an IP address to the machine. This is the recommended setup. Once physically connected to your network, we will rename the machine's computer name so that we can easily map to it from a computer. Press the Windows key on the keyboard, then the left shell arrow. Next, go into Service, type 46268, toggle Drive Access on, and then launch Windows Explorer. Right-click My Computer by pressing the right-click button in the right shell menu and select Properties. Go to the Computer Name tab and click the Change button. In here, you can change the default computer name of the machine to something easier to identify over the network. Do not, by any means, join this machine to a domain. If for whatever reason this does happen, contact service or your local distributor. Your hard drive will need to be re-imaged. Leave the machine in the default workgroup. Default workgroup machines can map to domain PCs. In this example, I'll rename the machine Herco24, then click OK. Click OK to the message, and then restart the machine. The machine, by default, shares the D drive or part programs folder to everyone on the network. To map a computer to the part programs drive on the machine, go to Start, Computer, Map Network Drive. Choose a drive letter that's available in the drop down menu, such as Z. Type in the file path for the machine. In this example, it's backslash backslash Herco24 D dollar sign. Then click Finish. A box will come up asking for the username and password. The username is computer name backslash administrator, all lowercase, and the password is Herco, all lowercase. Now you have a Z drive on your computer that's mapped to the D drive on the machine. You can copy files to the machine from the computer using this method. To map a drive on the machine to a PC, stop the boot up process at the shell by hitting the space bar before the countdown can finish. In the left shell menu, go to Service, type 46268, toggle Drive Access on, and then again, launch Windows Explorer. In the address bar, type in the path for your server or shared folder. For this example, we will connect to a PC on the network with a computer name of Jordan-PC. Type backslash backslash Jordan-PC slash network video in the address bar to connect to the network video folder. After I hit enter, it browses the network for the location and a box pops up asking for username and password. If you're on a local work group, this is the Windows default, just type the username and then the password. If you're on a domain, type domain backslash username for the username and then the password. Make sure that you check the box that says remember my password so you don't have to enter your password every time you try to access the drive. Once you see your folder come up, you can now map to it. Go to Tools, Map Network Drive, and choose an available drive letter. I'm using Z in this example. 
Then type the same file path you used to browse the share in the folder field. Backslash backslash Jordan PC backslash network video. Check reconnect at logon and then finish. Now the drive is mapped. Restart the machine and let it boot into WinMax. Your mapped drive should now show up with your part programs folder under Program Manager.